Hello everyone, welcome to my Dark Souls NPC challenge run. In this series, we're going to ask the question, can you beat the game as various NPCs? However, after beating the game as a chosen NPC, the game will get harder as it goes to a subsequent New Game Plus run. So, let's strap on in and ask the question, can you beat Dark Souls as Oscar of Astora? On this NPC run, I want to remind you guys of the rules before we get started. On this run, I had to pick an NPC and beat the game dressed up as that NPC. I'm only allowed to use their armor, weapon, and shield. And if they're known for having any specific ring, you have to keep that ring equipped. This also extends to spells and miracles. On the first run, I beat the game as the Crestfallen Warrior. Now, I moved on to New Game Plus as Oscar of Astora, which means I have the Elite Knight Armor, the Crest Shield, and the Straight Sword of Astora. Heading through the Asylum, it was pretty easy. I killed the Asylum Demon with no problem at all. And then I headed to Firelink Shrine, and the first thing I did was I headed down to the New Londo Depths and grabbed the Firekeeper Soul. Running through this world, I felt like a superhero. I felt like I was Captain America and I was some sort of super soldier. I made my way up to the Taurus Demon and he was a breeze. I ran past the Dragon, I joined the Sumbro Club, and I secured my miracles for the next run. Feeling a surge of power run through my veins, I only summoned Solaire for the gargoyles, and I got overconfident and died by being greedy with my Estus recovery. I went back and won easily with Solaire and Lautrec, and although I was thankful for Lautrec's help against the gargoyles, I didn't like the way he was creeping on the young girl down at Firelink Shrine, so I put him out of its misery. Then I headed back to the Undead Asylum to kill my doppelganger. There can only be one! After that, I headed down to Blight Town, and Mildred died pretty easily. And then we went and fought Quelag together. And I gotta tell you, Quelag hit like a Mack truck on this run. But unlike the last run, where Mildred was pretty useless, she decided to be the MVP of this run. I had a hard time keeping up with her damage. With Quelag out of the way, I rang the second bell. I decided to then head over to Ceaseless Discharge, and I died because I'm a slow, slow boy. But I won the race the second time as a skinny raisin boy, and then I told Ceaseless that I killed Mufasa and I knocked him off the edge. After this, I ran through Sen's fortress, and those snakes were beefy boys on this run. I said hi to Siegmeier, and then I fell to my death once. But I came back and I saved Big Hat because I'm a hero, and I ran through the rest of it pretty easily. I went up to the top and I made fun of the giant until he died of shame. I said hi to the crestfallen merchant. Then I summoned Black Iron Tarkus, and then we acted like Sid's toys as we killed the Iron Golem. I took the elevator up to Anorlando, and at this point I learned patience as I killed the third gargoyle, murdered the KKK hiding in the rafters. I killed the last gargoyle, and I put on some good music and jammed my way through a few archer runs until we made it. At this point in the run, I was having the time of my life. I was blasting through the enemies, I was jamming through the challenges, I was in a good mood. I kept trying to put the game down and take a break, but I just kept coming back for a little bit more. Before fighting Ornstein and Smo, I had to go save Siegmeier, and I killed three Silver Knights. Then, I went over to Ornstein and Smo, and honestly, it was a fun fight. The first time, I relied too much on Solaire, and the poor guy got teamed up on, and then I got teamed up on. The second try, I learned that Solaire can easily 1v1 Ornstein, but he's no match for Smo. Solaire died. Then I got caught by Mr. Thunderthighs. But the third time, I was able to separate the two. Solaire won his 1v1 match, but then he died trying to help me with mine, but I was able to drop the big man after that. And now it's time to teleport around the map, saving the world. First, I saved Griggs of Vinheim. You're welcome, citizen. But the Capra Demon caught me monologuing. Maybe twice. But eventually I took him seriously, and I put him down no problem at all. Then another citizen was saved as we rescued Laurentis. I gave Siegmeier permission to get stuck again. I prayed the sinner's prayer with Solaire. Heading on down to the catacombs, I died to pinwheel spam twice, but then I summoned my pop-up blocker energy and I focused on the ads and I was able to defeat the real pinwheel. Then I went looking for love in all the wrong places. Ray of Thorland was nowhere to be found, but eventually we caught up. We were just being ships in the night. I killed her boyfriends to prove that I was the best boy, and then I went up top to kill one last incel. Went down to the demon ruins and attempted base jumping. I don't recommend. Then things changed. I fought the Fire Sage, and while I had mastered his moveset, it was a long and tedious fight. I felt like it took forever. Then Solaire and I tag-teamed the Centipede Demon, and this guy just kind of felt like a chore as well. I'd already learned all of his movesets and all the skills to beat him on the last run, and this time it was just 
took forever. The longsword of Astora was just not a good weapon. But with those road bumps out of the way, I killed a witch, and then I killed My Chemical Romance, and I got lost in Isleth for a lot longer than I'd like to admit. Finally, Solaire became the sun. I feels bad. Um. Then I used firebombs to save Siegmeier. Then I wrapped up this horrible place by cheesing the Bed of Chaos with some firebombs once more. This time I got the Bed of Chaos on my first try, which felt amazing. After that, I headed up to Duke's Archives. I killed one piggy. Then another little piggy went to market. And then I had my obligatory death to Seath. I condemned Big Hat Logan to death as I forgot he was alive. But then I remembered him and I went back down and I chatted with him in his cell. I easily ran through Duke's archives, but I found I lacked the strength to actually kill any channelers before they could teleport away. Uh, I saved Siglin after practicing a lot of patience against a golden golem. And then I was overconfident against Seath, and I died once again. Finally, I learned the new definition of patience as I nuzzled into Seath, and it took forever, but I finally whittled him down and killed him. Then I went down to the Tomb of Giants. I watched a dog jump to his death. Then I watched a black knight jump to his death. And then I fought Nito, and it just took forever. All of these bosses are taking forever. Ornstein and Smo was the last fun fight I really had in this run. I went down to New Londo Ruins, I grabbed the key, I drained the lake, I gazed at death. I grabbed a very large ember. I headed over to Sif and I killed the sad puppy. It didn't take as long and was an easy fight. I simply had to hide inside his legs and whack away until I started crying. But I wiped my tears and put on my new bling. Then I fought the Ten Kings. It took forever. Finally, after they were defeated, I remembered Big Hat Logan. I totally forgot about him. So I ran back and saw he was gone, and I searched all over Duke's archives until I found him in the library. One last person to save. I killed the Hydra, I killed the Golden Golem, and saved Dusk. There was nothing left to do but head down to Gwyn. He gave us the typical trouble, but we put him down in the end. And that's the game. How was it? Well, for the first half of this game, I felt overpowered. I felt like a super soldier, Captain America, superhero. I was running around the map. I was teleporting around. I was saving people. It was amazing. But the second half of the game was lame. This long sword of Astora is not a fun weapon. And while I have my same reservations for the Sunlight Straight Sword of Solaire, at least on the next run, I'm going to have those Lightning Bolt Miracles. So we answered the question, can you beat New Game Plus as Oscar of Astora? Yes. Yes, you can. But it's going to take a lot of patience. Just like Oscar in the game had to wait around wondering if he was the chosen one, if the prophecy would ever come true. I had to wait around whacking these bosses for what felt like hours. While the build was quite tanky enough, I would definitely not recommend doing this a second time through. But a new game awaits, a new world, a new time with Solaire. And this time, we're not going to kill my doppelganger. Sun's out, gun's out, it's a double rainbow, double rainbow time. This has been the New Game Plus run of the NPC Challenge. Be sure to tune in next time. As we pray so much sun, our eyes are going to burst into flames inside of our head. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.